We are live. Can you smell Amanda? <laughs> Don't throw me under the bus. You confess that you also are not proud of your own scent. It's I. I didn't realize it until I was driving home, and I'm yep. like, "What is that? Oh, it's me!" I <laughs> did I? I did I run over can. a trash can? Like, what? <laughs> what no, happened? It's is not there quite a dead garbage fish under my yeah. car seat? What it's is more that of smell? like a sort of a red oniony smell. <laughs> Mine is just straight up bo. That's yeah. Not, it's, it's classic. Funny. The classic scent is going. <laughs> Original. Yeah, none of this newfangled, <laughs> like, you know. Original. It's OBO. Right. Yeah. O G O B O. O G B O. O G B O. That's what it is. Not spring break or spring That's fresh. Right. right. Yeah. If you were to. I think it was just denial on my part because anybody else who would have been in the car with me would have known immediately what it was and they would have probably not, not said yeah. anything. Yeah, it's it is my scent. What yeah. is the uh what is the stuff the the essence, the essential oils? That's the new, you know. Like yeah. OGBO. OGBO. OGBO, yeah. I like it. <laughs> new OGBO by Brandy. Throwing it back. We just got the back original from... recipe. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Not it's the new back, Coke. Back from vacay. This is, so. this is B.O. Classic. <laughs> it's really distracting. Have you ever noticed when you smell something that stinks, you can't help but keep smelling it? Yeah. But, yeah. And then you can't think yeah. of anything else. Right. And you keep... I kept... I kept raising my arms and like checking. Do I still yeah. stink? Is it yep. still stinky? Yep. Do I still yep. stink? Yep. Is it, is it still me? Yep. Has, has all the stink dissipated? No. Nope. Still me. <laughs> it's still me and it's still stinky and I'm still going <laughs> to smell it again in a couple of minutes <laughs> and somebody would be telling you something really you know important like okay if you want a million dollars and you're like uh huh uh huh sniff sniff <laughs> all you need to do is, yep yep but... <laughs> we're live on the internet people are listening to you what are you doing I am sniffing myself <laughs> I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> I don't All even right. need to Shall bend we... down like you just did, Brian. I don't need to turn my head or my nose down towards it. All I had to do, I could sit straight you up. You just right need to looking. inhale. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's all around me like a blanket of stench. Like I'm going to start the theme song now so others can see us. Stink cloak uh, all yeah. around me. OGBO. Yes. Excuse everybody. My name is John, and I smell bad. <laughs> That's Brian, and he smells pretty good. Also, that's, that's the peaches, and she also bad. Also, also bad. Also <laughs> super bad. Yeah. And uh, we are we are happy to be with you. It's I'm I am punchy and tired, and I'll be honest. Uh, I was ready to go to sleep. Yeah, me too. And we can't go to sleep because we have to do this show. You know what they say, punchy, tired, and stinky is no way to go through life. Right. (laughs) We get to do this show. And so we have a a report to do. I'm going to share this screen here. Uh, Maybe. 
Yes, I am. All right. So uh, we've got a big show, even though the pizzas and I are stinky. Uh, I think yeah. your si slideshows are still hang visible. Are you yeah. How, how show is it, by the way? Hey, well, hang on a second. Hold on. I think I put How the stinky one. is the show? I put the wrong one in there. <laughs> we got a stinky okay. show for you tonight. We're going to have to come back to this comment in a moment. <laughs> we'll get there because we have some things to discuss. What was it? I didn't see it. Pat and Gail are waiting on their bison poutine, <laughs> so we'll just come back to that. What? Yeah, I don't know. How show is it? <laughs> How show is it? Oh, there's Grandma Turbo. She p appeared at VK yesterday for, for a little bit. She got to hang out with us, and that really Hi. made Chance happy because Chance and Grandma bonded last time at VK, and mm -hmm. they were like BFFs, so it was a reunion to behold. Very beautiful. Okay. How show okay. is it? How okay. show is it? I'm glad you asked. If a typical show is represented by this uh, mastodon or woolly mammoth, if you prefer, tonight's show looks a little something. Oh, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> it's not. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. You're trying to make reference to the fact that we stink. That is a picture of bo odor. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's a gassy, a noxious yeah. gas cloud. A right lot. There. That's a lot of odor. Why yes. Didn't it work. It did um, work. <laughs> you can't see it. I bet no, it doesn't. No, that's smoke not what it. I wanted. I worked. I worked hard enough on this that. Oh, okay. it's worth going back and trying it's not again. Worth it. I'm not going to okay. go back. Oh, it's worth it. Too many. Oh, got Dakota's too many. checking in too. They're in Kentucky now, on their way all the way south. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sarah. They had a great talk with their family. Yeah. They've got such a great family. We played disc golf with them. Yep. Disc golf reference, Jeff says. It wasn't mm -hmm. necessarily, but it now it is. A, it was a great time. Luke's um, worried about his bro chance. I didn't realize how much their bromance had continued since 2021, but mm -hmm. definitely has. Yeah. Chance uh, showed up with a beard and went home clean shaven. Oh. So there was a transformation that took yeah. place. Fun activities for all. Hey, there's yep. Nerd Mom. We met her last night. <laughs> We did. She was at the showcase with her fam. And the nerd family. The they whole introduced nerd themselves fam. as the nerd family. There's and Stephen. you know what? I don't mean to I don't mean to take anything away from you. Hey, what's up? There's Stefan. I don't mean to take any away from you nerd families, but you guys didn't strike me as super nerdy. You looked yeah. almost kind of normal. normal. <laughs> didn't you think? I thought so too, but I mean, then I, I started him, thinking I maybe I'm a nerd as well. Right. I looked at them, and again, I'm not trying to be insulting here, but I looked at them, at that family, and I thought, hmm, that looks yeah. like a normal family. She had to say, I'm nerd mom, because I wouldn't have just right. said, that must right. be nerd mom. Right. right, because I looked at her name on the screen for however long she's been a clicker, and I thought, and it, the picture in my mind was something much nerdier than <laughs> what she is in real life. So <laughs> My picture, I expected her to go, because look. <laughs> Right, that's what I expected. <laughs> no, I, ex it would, I expected, and I didn't. I I didn't want to say anything because, like I said, I didn't want to hurt their feelings. But they said we're the nerd family, and I thought in the back of my mind, no, you're sure not. you are. <laughs> you're, just, you're you're normal looking people. Um, All right, so are we? Uh, are we just abandoning your poor little? Um, no, mastodon. No, we're, we're, we're going to give a shout out to the clickers, so you can play that. Okay. And uh, we got to play that music and then we'll get right into the rest of I'm this. I'm going the wrong way. Please bear with me, everyone. I just had a baby this weekend. <laughs> and she's. Also, and she stinks. You're going to have to explain that. Reference. I will. Yeah. Otherwise, but first. But first. Do you hear it? Yes. Okay. So why we're here. Got mad skills. Clickers will give us chills. Clickers are on the range. Clickers are live backstage. Clickers are fresh and clean. Clickers are lean and mean. Wait for it. Clickers are on the scene. Woo! We <laughs> love every single one of our clickers like a member of our family, but this week. We're going to give a shout out to a few special clickers, and they are all, all the, the clickers. clickers and 
That's right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He looks so creepy. Oh my eyes god. Eyes all blue. Yeah, you turn into like the skeleton or something. Uh, it's about a Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it because of this, the green on this? Yes. <laughs> it reflects on your face and then your face bent. Like half of your face half vanishes. Of it. <laughs> you know what it's, I should do? It's impressive. Back. If I change the background color to something other than green, that would yes, that would, that that would, would alleviate significantly it. help. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, hopefully it wasn't too distracting. It, uh, well, shout out not as distracting clickers. as my armpits. Go on. <laughs> all, all of you clickers, we love and sincerely appreciate. If you would like to join us, uh, join our merry band of clickers, and if you would like to try to out nerd the nerd family. All you have to do is go to johnbrandy.com and I'm telling you, it won't be it won't be hard to out nerd them because they're not they're not really that nerdy. <laughs> not very nerdy. You just go to well, johnbrandy.com. They don't look nerdy. They could be nerdy. Hmm. Fair. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kinda open the can of worms. Is, we is could nerdy explore this. just a, a yeah. physical appearance or is it a state of mind? Is it a is it a way of life? Is it a knowledge based is it a knowledge? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it, a, is it a sort of Gnosticism? So you can join the party at johnbrandy.com, but there's not <laughs> like going to be an mystical, effort party tonight because I like just a had a baby sort of and I'm exhausted and everybody keeps asking me, are we going to do another vacay? And I'm like, you can't ask me that right now. It's, it's mm-hmm. like saying, you know, when are you going to have more kids and... And like Tabby said this morning, can we just get out of the hospital first before we start talking <laughs> about that? Mm-hmm. So it's just a metaphor. It's not sincere. I didn't literally give birth to a baby this weekend, but it was the second time we've done Vacay with Comics, and I feel very exhausted. Some of us know what it's like to have a really great first baby, like a really good, well-behaved, sleeps-through-the-night kind of baby, and then have your second come along and just be like, boom. <laughs> Punch you in the face, cries all the time, problems all over, makes you doubt yourself as a parent and maybe even a human being. <laughs> so yeah. that's sort of sort of what happened a little bit this time. There were some problems that we didn't have the first time around. Which we haven't told I, Brian about. Expected. Yes. We haven't told Brian about them yet in order to preserve some of the surprise. So I don't know what, <laughs> what order we want to do these things. We've got pictures. Dad's got pictures. I've got pictures. Well... I, I do have uh, do have some pictures, we'll, and we'll start with mine. There you go ah, again. Ah, he's stop, the stop thing it. of nightmares again. Okay, there we're good. Well, now I have to. Okay, well I have to change the screen, so I'm going to get down here and <laughs> don't and, judge a nerd by its cover. Russ, <laughs> oh, does Brian have a hat? This week? Uh, not this week. I should have a hat uh, for the next show. I'm on. Pretty sure Marcy called me a nerd I enough in one day to make an effect at this point. Yes, that's her Marcy thing. Marcy kept calling Chance a nerd. Well, she calls everyone. Her she new calls like greeting, nerds. the way that I've been saying stay fresh cheese bags all the time, she literally will enter a room and go, what's up, nerds? Hey, nerds. <laughs> that's just her thing. <laughs> it makes everybody laugh, so she keeps doing it. Yep, um, she keeps doing it. All right, so yeah. I have uh, some vacay picks that I have put together, not a lot, just a few, uh, under the title of Vacay Picks. And oh, hello, Tom. Thanks for making it. Oh, so I'm gonna hey, sh- Tom. Show <laughs> these to you. Brian, what's up, Tom? And, uh, and I want Brian to try to you know, identify these. These are from Vacay. Okay. And <laughs> okay. I haven't seen these yet. Here's the first one. You know what that is? That, that is. is- uh... <laughs> you know what it is, Pete? That- that is, is my it the soul inside from... of your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> nope. It's I was say my soul from missing it. That's a good that guess. Is... That is the hallway outside our room after <gasps> the power went out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We had a, yep. we had a power Transformer out. blue at six a.m. And so and... from then on through I think two thirty p.m. there was no electricity anywhere on the campground. Yep. So. And, uh, and... Here's the next picture. Yeah. You know what that is? That is, uh, that is the inside of your, your room as opposed to the hallway. Well, uh-huh. that, nope. Is that the nope. theater or that's the dining picture, room? That's a picture of the basement at, at uh, yeah, at Oaks where the meeting rooms are. 
uh, after the power went out. Hey, Suzanne, then, you're just in time to see pictures from vacay. This is what then, the campground looked like when the power was out. <laughs> after the power went out. Well, it's a certain part. And then here's this. Oh, wait, that's that's just a blank slide. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, my, my bad. And then there's this. You know what that is, Brian? That is um, the picture of where you were staying from their website. Yes, that is a picture <laughs> of the rest of Wild Lodge after the power went out. <laughs> okay. But from the outside. From the outside. Right. Looks yes, a lot better. Uh, I, I can see the darkness inside, so that's... Uh -huh. And then just a couple more. What's that? Uh, that is an Indiana mosquito. It is an actual photo, the actual size of the mosquitoes that were in the <laughs> woods where the Frisbee disc golf basket was. Um, that's one of the smaller ones. The other ones wouldn't fit entirely in the frame. So you're saying the power went out. So I hear that and I go, okay, I remember the last time I was there. Uh, I know it was really, really hot there this week and really, really humid. So uh, air conditioning would be something that would probably not be available or During a fan power outage. Yeah. Or so yes. that yes. sounds wonderful. So to be fair, the hottest day of the weekend was Friday and it was 94 degrees <sighs> with a humidity of 95%. No. It nope. was like walking through a shower. No, nope. it's like, yeah. yeah. But nope. the, the power did not go out until Saturday morning. And by then, it was because of the sudden cold front that the storms came through in the first place. So actually, by Saturday morning, the temperature was in like the it low 70s. Beautiful. And there was a breeze. And the humidity was down to 60%. Mm -hmm. No. So. Nope. Yeah. I would not be. Worse. I would not be a pleasant human being. I would. I would not be like you uh, normally are. Yeah, exactly. I would not be as friendly and as warm and as uh, charming. Is you patient, warm, and patient. <laughs> um, yep. So this was a. It was good. I got one more picture. Um, you know what that is. <laughs> Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> Did you throw dynamite into the lake? Close. <laughs> what is that, Peach? Well, I think that's a picture of, of fish being electrocuted. <laughs> yes, it's fish being electrocuted. What? Why, why would that picture? What? Well, from the very first day, everybody was very confused why, when you're staring out over this gorgeous lake, this picturesque scene, and, you know, enjoying the breeze from the from the um, water <laughs> often very very noticeable right here off in your right on your right side was this like oil rig looking thing and it was loud it'd be like brrrr, and you couldn't hear anything and so um apparently and i didn't hear this part apparently isaac witty talked to somebody who was a lake person who said it's a dredge and somebody the, the, in the know First, they're cleaning up the bottom of the lake. They're dredging it up to get it clean. And then eventually, they're going to shock the lake to try to rid it of its carp population. They're intentionally going to kill off all of the wildlife in the water and then restock it later. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, that's and awful. So and you can... Just think, that's something you can only do with, like, animals. Like, you couldn't go to, like, a daycare and be like, you know what? <laughs> We're going to dredge this and um, just shock all the kids and then we'll get some more children. Yep. Everybody who was at VK, imagine that. Everybody at VK was immediately aware of what this was supposed to be. Everyone else was giving some good it, guesses, but. It looks like the scene out of a horror movie. Mm -hmm. Like they're attacking the boat. <laughs> they shocked the carp out of the fish <laughs> or out of the lake. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. They just shocked the carp out of that lake. Oh, man. <laughs> I yeah, got to well, appreciate that. So JT asked me on the way to get coffee this morning. He goes, so can you not eat fit? Can you not eat carp? And I said, well, you can, but they're kind yeah. of. <laughs> they're invasive. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they just came. They just took over because that's what Tabby's saying. Why can't you just release a predator into the water to take care of it? Like humans, mm -hmm. we can't right. keep up. And people just don't want that many carp. 
Right. People people don't go after carp like they do tasty fish. They don't <laughs> so really. basically a carp tastes like I smell right now. <laughs> <laughs> who John, you might know this. Who there was somebody who had a, a whole thing about um, we only kill the ugly animals. You know what I mean? Like all the Oh you know who that was? That was Jackie Mason. We were talking about Jackie Mason. <laughs> <laughs> we only kill the ugly animals. Yeah, all, was, all the cute ones were like, oh, how nice, and we keep them for pets and whatever, and then if it's ugly, it's just like, you know what, let's just take this power line and shove it into the lake and kill all Johnny, the ugly fish. Yep. Johnny W. has a bit about that, how we, we rename animals. We rename the cute animals so that we don't have to think about eating them. Like This isn't a piggy. It's pork. This is... <laughs> it's pork, right? This isn't a piggy. Yep. Pork. Well, he says this isn't a cow. Cows are cute. They got, uh, so this is beef. You know, mm -hmm. it's not a deer. It's venison. Oh. And he goes, it's not a raccoon. It's a McRib. Mm. And that's his joke. It's Johnny W's joke. Gotcha. It's a good joke. But Jackie Mason <laughs> has a joke about Thanksgiving. The first Thanksgiving. He goes, they serve turkey. And why do they serve turkey? Because it's an ugly bird. They looked around and they said, we got to do something but to get rid of all these ugly birds. And Brian also... Reagan has a tune a bit. Mm. Uh, Ellie says, "Yes, he does." <laughs> we need an influencer to compare mm. carp to caviar in order <laughs> yeah. to up the value. Ouch. Or maybe we should pickle it in really, really nasty preserve and then sell it to people who want to Ooh. make viral videos on in Finland social media. Yeah, yeah. Or Sweden, Sweden. Wherever. Yeah, Sweden. Sweden. It's Sweden. It's Scandinavia somewhere. Yeah. Um, but but we were talking about. We were telling Brian before the show actually started that we got into sort of this Jackie Mason thing, and I was I was confessing. Well, we were. I playing. don't know who that is. I was. We not were playing involved. games. You don't need to know who he is. He sounds just like this. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and so, I was telling the people at the table while we're playing video games, it's like the hard thing is once you start talking like Jackie Mason, it's very hard to stop. <laughs> I bet I could stop. <laughs> I will uh, take that sure, challenge. Caddy Shack You can watch Caddy Shack His uh, Broadway show that came out just a few years ago. Have you seen it? The, mm -hmm. I don't remember the title of it, but it's Jackie. It's I, it might be like an evening with Jackie Mason or a night with Jackie Mason. But it was it was on Broadway. It was a theater, and it was really really funny. It's, mm -hmm. If you haven't seen it, you should go and look it up. You well, he was a great writer. Jackie Boy, Mason was a classic. Um. So, so is that all, all of your right, so photos? Have, yeah, that was it. That's it for me. That's so, all right. so out. pitch black, no power, except for <laughs> all the power going into the lake to he's, kill He's doing all a thing, fish. and we're going to ignore him. <laughs> oh, there, he's back. <laughs> he goes, That's what we were doing everybody. before the pre-show. We were, we were zooming in and out of the, of the stream. <laughs> kind of like a CV. I can't get it to move there. Right. No, that's not right. <laughs> Stop it! You're making it hard for me to keep everybody where they're supposed to go. <laughs> Fine, stay out there. Right, so, I'm back. He let himself back in. Okay, so yes, Brian is recapping. <laughs> You're such a pain. <laughs> oh. Are we done? <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> Are we done now? I think we're done. Yeah. All right. No, we're not. I know you guys. There's <laughs> going to be more of that. It's not me. <laughs> not, I am not going to do it anymore. There's going to be more. Oh, I know so it. Tired. He is punchy. <laughs> so at what point did the power go out? What what day? It was 6 a.m. Saturday. So yesterday 6 morning. 6 a.m. Saturday. Right as I was waking up, I heard the explosion and then beeping from the emergency light or from the air conditioner uh, alarm telling us that there was a malfunction. And hey, Tabby's coming in. Tabby has some <laughs> things to share. Tabby let herself in. Maybe. It looks like she's on a cell phone, though, so this may it or may not look like work. She's... Hey! Hi. Hi. Do you have something to add? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I was just sitting backstage because I felt like I can. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to the show. Uh, we were just telling Brian about the uh, power outage situation. So oh. we not only did the power go out 
at 6 a.m., but it was like right before breakfast. So then breakfast was delayed quite a bit, and they had to send away, the camp had to send away from McDonald's to feed. And it wasn't just our group, but like there were three other groups, I think, there on campus. They had to feed all of them Egg McMuffins. And then <laughs> they passed out menus to all of the group leaders because they said, we don't have the capacity to do lunch. And the power, you know, we would have to be making it now. <laughs> And the power's out, and it's going to probably be out for a while. So they're like, so, here's a list. Well, I got some jumper cables and went out <laughs> into the lake. We didn't know <laughs> then. So you guys did DoorDash. Yeah, yeah, they did a giant DoorDash fish. order. We did a carp sushi. Yeah. 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 Essentially. The electric carp is delicious when it's fresh. You know what? I think right. Joe was legitimately upset that he didn't get to make a vat of jumbo over a campfire. <laughs> Jumbo or gumbo? Oh, gumbo. I'm tired. Because <laughs> I was thinking jumbo vat. That's oh, nice. Madam Jumbo. We had a, he's got a recipe for elephant. That is oh, I think Electric Carp is a good band name. I think that's a great band Electric name. Actually. Carp. Electric Carp. I like vat of gumbo. Vat of jumbo. I like that of jumbo bag. That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can stay. Oh, wait, there's Warren. He had some things to say in the middle of the night, too, at the hotel, but we'll get to that. Um, but what I didn't talk about was prior to any of this happening, the very, very first thing that happened on arrival. Like, I mean, upon arrival, moments in. So let me start by saying that when we were packing to go, Juwan, who's not on the show tonight because Casting Crowns has a show tonight, uh, but Juwan was at our house on Wednesday. We spent all day Wednesday playing games. I saw that, so I will, I'll will i go get him after I'm done telling this story. Okay. Um, and so Juwan was at our house and we had a great time, And but things were hectic and we're you know making food and eating food and packing up, finishing, get, gathering things. So I had been keeping all of our stuff upstairs in the hallway. Um, all the kids' stuff, my stuff, anytime I'd pack something, I would put it in this in the hallway. In fact, it was falling down the stairs much of the time. I would have to like shove it back up because the kids would come down and bring bags with them and stuff. So I was shoving it back up in the hallway. Well, as we're getting ready to leave, Dad and Juan go in his car, and um, Luke and I and our kids get in our van. And I say to Luke, oh, I didn't make sure that the hallway was empty. And he goes, I did. And I said, all right. And he is my detail guy. He usually, like, d checks and double checks, like, air conditioner temperature, you know, make sure that yep. they, the dishes are not in the sink and stuff like that because he wants it to smell nice when we get home, takes the trash out, all that. So I'm like, okay. Joe checks the oven. He checks the door handles. Right. He checks, yeah. Right. Some women are like, oh, I would never ask my husband to do something like that. But I literally didn't think anything of it. So we go two and a half hours up to the campground, get there, and we have to go into the office. They give me the keys for everybody's rooms because it's my job to dole them out to the individual guests. And um, she has me sign some stuff. And I'm realizing, oh, I need my laptop because it's got all the information about where people are staying oh, no. and which keys to give them. And I said, I need to get I need my laptop. And he goes... I don't remember putting a laptop in the van. And I was oh, like, no. well, can we check it anyway? I said it was in the hallway. And he goes, I'll go check. But he came right back and was like, there's not a laptop in there. And like, you know, that moment where like, you don't think anything for a few seconds. It's just like blank. <laughs> <laughs> I thought several things all at once. I was like, but you said you checked the hallway, <laughs> you know, how did that get misplaced? And so right, I, but not the hallway in your house. It was, it was, a no, hallway. he did check the hallway. But when I explained that I called Tabby and was like, can you go and get, you know, get my laptop? It's, we forgot it. He goes, I said, you checked the hallway. And Luke goes, I checked from our room to the girl's room of the hallway not the whole <laughs> she she calls me and she tells me that and i go okay <laughs> and she goes yeah i know he thinks our hallway is like four acres long <laughs> <laughs> i can't check the whole hallway i check most of it it's that like would take hours yeah it's like right. six feet long <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, you have to understand that, like, even to get to the part, the portion he talked about, he had it's an L shape, and the staircase is on the shape he, the part of the shape he didn't check. So he had oh, to wow. walk past all the stuff over here to go check from my room to the girls' room. It was and, good. Uh, it was good. So it gave it me something to just, do. Well, it wasn't just my computer. It was all of my toiletries, like shampoo, conditioner, sunscreen, my makeup bag, like everything that was in that corner. So Tabby saved the day because she and Joe took their kids on a sl small detour to my house to get my stuff, all of my stuff, and bring it. And that ended up being sort of, I guess, sort of crisis averted. We did have to use Dad's computer for a while before mine was available. Um, but then he also... He also drove to get the catering for us, which we were 45 minutes late already to go and pick it up. And there's cold cuts available. Juan DeVivo is the hungriest guy I've ever met <laughs> in my life. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to talk about this on the podcast. We've talked yes. about this on the podcast. But yeah, Juwan, Juwan is hungry. And, and what I sincerely appreciate about Juwan is he tells you that he's hungry. Yep. You know, some people will just... Their stomach will growl and they'll grow weak. And they're like and too they'll, nice. They'll die and they'll wither up and blow away. And it's just, yeah, like, I'm fine. Be, I haven't eaten Tabby for four would days. Never it's tell okay. You she's hungry. But Juwan yeah. just, so like, we get there and, and he goes, uh, Are we going to eat a lunch? <laughs> That's his question. Even before that, when you were bringing him home from the airport on Wednesday, when you're bringing him to our yes. house, we're on goes, Polo, and he goes, have you already had breakfast or, um, <laughs> will there be breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, and then when we were on the way there, we stopped to get, uh, we stopped to let everybody go to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> he bought himself some pork rinds. And he bought pork rinds, but, and he goes, uh. If I bought these pork rinds, would I be allowed to eat them in your car? <laughs> yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. Um, oh, gosh. So anyway, so he was hungry. That's the kind of relationship I have. Yeah. Juwan, Juwan is a eat pork rinds in my car friend. There you go. Yep. yep. And what was funny was Silas went up to him because kids, whenever you have something, they're like, well, what's that? And we said, you know what it is? It's fried pig skin. And he goes, oh, I thought I would like it. <laughs> I thought I could mooch that. I thought I would like it. Oh, I thought I would so, like it. So we told, we were telling them on the way home. We also had to stop at a gas station so that the entire McKinney clan could use the restroom. They can't mm -hmm. go all the way um, mm -hmm. in one shot. So we stopped at a gas station where there was uh, two bathrooms: a women's bathroom and a men's bathroom. The men's bathroom didn't even have a doorknob on the door. Um, and mm -hmm. it wouldn't stay closed mm -hmm. and it would swing open. You pulled it closed and it would swing open directly <laughs> on the, on the urinal. And so yep. everybody inside the gas station mm -hmm. could, <laughs> could see you taking a leak, standing in the <laughs> yes. I, I was I the first watched, one to notice it. Yeah. I watched <laughs> my son-in-law, Luke, take a leak from across the convenience <laughs> store. I walked through Looking the door hard. and turned and I was like, is that <laughs> Is that what I think it is? And so is Luke that guy comes taking up. A leak? Yes, it we're is. standing in the hallway waiting for the women's room, oh, and it's gosh. right next to these guys. And so Luke comes in, and I was like, "There's a line for the girls' room." He goes, "You want me to take him and the take Silas in the men's room?" And I was like, "Well, you can, but everyone will see you." <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. Uh, so you didn't gosh. just stand there and hold the door shut for them? Um, it's, no, it swung out. <laughs> it was a little yeah, but embarrassing. You, you could still, you could still hold it. So you're asking why didn't one of us assist? Yeah, because because it was pretty funny. Well, yeah, that's true. Out. I mean, it's it's a much better story and a much <laughs> oh, better yeah, time. Cool. You know, if you're reaching in, grabbing like some some pop tarts, and you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> hold on. Yeah. Here. And we stopped at the gas station that the whole outside, like I'm used to the country smell. I, th I thought I was like, you know, it's fine. Sometimes it's like fertilizer or whatever, right. but we're like, we're, we're Indiana people. Right. And we had to stop at a gas station. Cause we thought that Warren pooped now, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be, we just started to smell the outside because we pull in and we like open the door. And even I was like, Oh, it smells like really hot fried dog poop. Like 
<laughs> I don't know. It was all like, of outside. The whole outside. We opened the van door and I was like, whoa. And even Joe goes, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know, it's bad because you can't smell anything. And yeah, it was, it was really hot. <laughs> it smelled hot and stinky. And it we, was really uh, good to and, meet you, Rachel. We're so glad that you came. It was so fun. Oh, and by the way, Warren did not have a poopy diaper. So I'm thinking we blamed you him for the You might have been smelling outline. dad. You might have been smelling him. <laughs> you might have rolled down his windows momentarily. If you had had a poopy diaper, you might have put it back in your car. And <laughs> to make air. it <laughs> as an air freshener. It would have helped. But I'm um, not done telling about everything Luke did wrong. Like moments after we arrived. <laughs> I wanted to know more about the power outage. And uh, it says about the first day and the power outage. So what I was going to say was, I sent Luke to go get our catering. I said the grocery store is a mile away from here. And he said, what's it called? It's called the Strachan Van Till. He Googles it. I think, I'm think i thinking he's looking up the website, which is what I did. And then it's got all the locations listed. And I was like, it's you know right around the corner. Like you could almost walk there. And... Um, and then he leaves, and I'm, like, trying to keep Juwan from gnawing on things, you know. And, <laughs> you know, D David Pendleton arrives. And um, who else was there? It was, um, oh, the Witties, Isaac and Kristen, were already there because they'd been there the day before. So we're trying to talk and keep busy. The kids are ravenous, and they're being kind of restless. So Juana's my phone starving. rings. Juwan is out it's, spearing fish in the lake. Right, he's out there looking for carp. And uh, my phone rings, and I'm thinking it's going to be a vacay person, you know, looking for directions or something. It's a totally unrelated business call. They're like, hey, how much does John, John charge? Is he available on this date? You know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I, um, can you email me, like, the details for your show? I don't get cold calls in the middle of the week, let alone on the day that we arrive at the campground and I discover my computer is missing. But um, I, I'm handling that conversation and my it, line rings busy and I look down and it's Luke <laughs> and I can't answer it right away because I'm still on this call with this person but like I, I kind of as quick as I can end that call and call him back and he's I'm like I'm hanging up have... on you now because you're not important <laughs> he goes they don't have our order and I was like yes they do I specifically called the right one I I got a switchboard operator to send it to the Cedar Lake one. And he was like, no, they told me there's another one up the road. I can check there, but there, but you know, it's not at that location. And I was like, there's not another one. And he goes, she told me there's two in crown point, Indiana. Mm -hmm. And I was crown like, point. we're in Cedar Lake. The store is in Cedar Lake. It's a <laughs> mile from here. There's, there's two of them in this town where nobody is right, right. There's, I am. there's the grocery store and then there's like the chinese restaurant and that's it he's like, like i was corner. i was glad i called you because i was about to go drive to the other location you just gonna keep going to other locations further and further maybe when she said a mile she meant <laughs> he's 25. Like, he's really like i'm now in it. chicago uh, yeah. they don't have it either every I'm place in Wisconsin chicago border, i'm checking <laughs> right heading for canada <laughs> so he came back, long story short, or Juwan finally got some food around like 2 p.m., I think, was when lunch was finally served. And then registration was supposed to start at 4, and um, we, like, weren't ready at all, and there was no <laughs> signage up, and, like, you know, I was not... I just got my computer when they walked in, when Tabby walked in, like, moments before everyone else did, so... Yeah. yeah. But I thought to myself, oh... At least we got it out of the way on the very first day. Right. And then the It'll power went out. It'll be smooth sailing from so. now on. Before you continue, uh, I just yeah. want to go back and touch. Uh, someone mentioned Juwan, like, spearing for fish. Um, it just reminds me, I just see Juwan, <laughs> like, in Castaway from with Tom mm -hmm. Cruise. Just mm -hmm. replace him and just have him, you know, with the no the shirt shorts. on. Just get the beard going. That's what I just see is Juwan just yeah. kind of like gnaw on stuff and hunt for food. That should be like a show. Juwan finds food. That should be like a <laughs> a thing where he just goes out. One of those yep. like survival yeah. shows. And just fun. for the record, Juwan, this is why people are usually afraid to speak up and say they're hungry because they're afraid of this sort of ridicule. And Juwan 
doesn't care. He's just going <laughs> to he's going to be honest and he's going to get fed when he's hungry and he's mm-hmm. going to let well, everyone make fun of him for it. He's yeah. pretty laid back. It's funny that you brought up Castaway too because Juwan just before telling us how hungry he was extracted one of his teeth with an ice skate. <laughs> <laughs> so right. It was a pretty I would, interesting weekend. I would probably be there uh behind Juwan, but just uh probably a little more aggressive. Mm-hmm. She's yelling, where's the food? <laughs> where's food? So, <laughs> that we can. Eat. I have pictures too. Can we see my pictures now? Rachel's blaming me for the power outage. Did you see? I that? saw that. Pull her, pull her comment up because I'm getting my slideshow up. All right, because, mm-hmm. uh, because I was sitting on the porch with Isaac Whitty. I thought I made that clear. Mm-hmm. I thought I made it clear that Isaac Whitty was sitting on the porch with me. So it wasn't just me. It was he and I talking about how the night was the showcase night, and and it's smooth sailing. We're in the barn now because you had finished improv night, and last improv, improv night was kind of sketchy. It was we had audio <laughs> issues. Brian may remember some of that. Sketchy is putting it nicely. It's supposed That's to be sketchy. <laughs> You're supposed That's... to have comedy sketches involved. Right. But... And so we had, so we were talking about how well, we're all pros here. This, this, this is what we do. This is a stand-up show with mm-hmm. seven headliners, you know. And so there, this is, this is gonna well, be like falling out. An of a improv tree. night so went easy. well. Like that, you guys were talking about how right. it went well. We used a Jackbox game. Some well. difficulties. But, I mean, but it went well and they did a good job and it was significantly improved from year one. So they're like, well, now so we can as, do the easy part. As we were talking about how easy it was going to be, there was an explosion from somewhere down the lake and then the power went out. The water fountain next to the porch stopped bubbling mm-hmm. happily. It yes. just became deathly still yep. like it was. Like it was anticipating, uh, it, like it was like an omen, and so, yeah. yeah I thought I thought it was God, basically saying, yeah, it's not going to be. I decide whether it's easy or not, and it's just <laughs> e- it is as simple as blowing up a transformer <laughs> to completely um, mm-hmm. mess up your plans and make you depend on <laughs> me. And we actually so- thought we were going to be doing the. It's just that simple. It's that easy (laughs) for the maker of the universe (laughs) to go. Well, they don't don't know this because, oh, I'm sorry. There's a delay on my computer. That's the problem. I can hear myself. I can hear myself coming back in your microphone, but it's like a full three seconds after I say it. Dad's talking about how it's, you know, the maker of the universe's fault for all of our uh, suffering. Uh, but we were uh, updating Megan and Marla in our group chat throughout the week about some of the stuff that was going on. And we told them about the power outage. And I feel like, now this might be wrong, but I feel like Megan didn't chime in until like the very, very end. It, you know, yeah. like the power comes on in the evening, but she didn't say anything in the group chat the whole day until basically the very end. And she's like, well, I'll just be praying for everybody and I'll be praying the power comes back on. And then like five minutes later, Mandy's like, the power's on. And Megan's yeah. like, oh, great. And quick, anybody else have any other prayer requests? <laughs> right. I'm great at this. Taking full credit for it. <laughs> she's like, you are welcome. through the ups and the downs. She yeah. just got the, lo- she got the news late. And then she's like, well, I'll pray about it. Oh, that was fast. I'm glad it yeah. was really fast and easy. Yeah. Quick. Quick. Anybody else have anything else for me to pray about while I'm on a roll? While I'm on a Maybe roll. While I got God's ear. Right. He's, he's right here. So I have, I was starting to say, I have pictures, but I did not have time to put together a nice, pretty slideshow. So, but I know. I actually understand now a little better about the importance of the slideshow because our own Juwan DeVivo is very passionate about them. And he <laughs> he really is. And he used a slide for his portion of the showcase last night and it ended up working really well. Like having a slideshow with the lyrics so that people can follow along yeah. with his songs was actually a really good idea. And so having the visual is even more important than what I perhaps thought. Which one of you is, point. is actually mixing cement right now at your house? Because um, that's what it sounds like. Or am I the only one that hears it? I think it's Mandy. Nothing's happening here for once. Okay, go ahead. Ever. Go ahead. It was just really up. Yeah, Juwan has. Juwan debuted a song 
at vacay that um that we will we'll have, have to sync. <laughs> don't say anything else i'm not what gonna say anything I'm else saying about is you will recognize was... perhaps the background of this slideshow i'm reusing one we've already used on this show before and it has nothing to do with AK, but Brian especially may know where this theme came from <laughs> and the first photos I'm sharing are actually not mine they were sent to me by um, our friend Sherry so oh, these are from Sherry. adding to stream these are Sherry's photos and it's a slideshow that we have used before <laughs> oh so, it's a very nice one yeah thank you I figured I figured strange light show was better than none. Okay, so next slide. This is the very first night. Hey, look. Right? Mm -hmm. Introduced the comics. Very well. And they small. played a, oh, is yeah. it small? They play yeah. the, the later ones get bigger. But um okay. up in this up in the top, like right corner right above dad's head, far right is dad, and then the screen behind him is just this random picture because we played weird news and we have to thank the skewsers who watch starving comics for um if i make it smaller it's probably going to be even worse isn't it but i want to see your faces is that even worse okay. um because we knew it was going to be a fun game because we play it with you guys yeah yeah well and it was pointed out to me that my legs are wider than the guy from minnesota <laughs> that see, is look true at darren's legs and then look at mine yeah, so yeah. Darren's, what, third from the left? Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so. it's he even has even more of a tan than Dad. Okay, so oh, that was... Whiter. Here, I thought you said is... wider. No, whiter. whiter. I was like, why does that They're matter? wider legs from the guy from Minnesota. <laughs> no, I, and they pride I themselves said, on wide legs up there. <laughs> I, I they said gumbo. <laughs> Gumbo. Jumbo. Jumbo. is very, very right. passionate about having the <laughs> widest legs. I'm out of here. Comics. I like to look like a domino from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> that old God. wide leg brand new? <laughs> Why, yes it is. I just couldn't figure oh. out what Minnesota had to do with it. I was like, tell you the story of wide legs brand new. <laughs> Widest legs in all the Midwest. Uh, like he's walking around on a couple of refrigerator boxes. <laughs> so um, this picture is visually appealing, but um, you have to remember, it's like 95 degrees <laughs> in the humidity <laughs> of somewhere in the 80s or 90s by this point. So you're so, using that to cool off is what you're saying. We're roasting marshmallows, but see... How like everyone is still as far away as they can be while still <laughs> roasting the marshmallow. He's it's sitting like, on those benches until we lit the fire, and then everybody got up and yep. moved away. Everybody, so. everybody was commenting, "Wow, what I really want right now is fire." I was really hoping we could add some heat to this experience, so we obliged. Next picture. Uh, there's uh, some cornhole. There's a, the Catritz, it's Dakota and Spencer yep. up at the top, and Faith down there and Daisha at the bottom. But they are. To answer um, yeah, all go ahead. the questions from you, Northern folk, or you people who live out west, uh, yes, it actually is, it should be called cornhole. Cornhole. Now, what do they call it? call it? Some people call it corn toss because no. they're afraid to say the word hole, and hmm. we're not. We just mm -mm. say it unapologetically. I grew up with beanbag toss. That was well. Oh if it goodness. was full, it was a bag full of beans. You could call it. You could call it bean hole. But the, <laughs> there's actually corn. But you do <laughs> toss it. Hole. It's not raw. So, so is the hole made out of corn? Then is that what the are we are we going down this are we going down this corn <laughs> yes. hole right now? Is that it's, what we're doing? Is it it's full of no. corn? Is it the, the size of a corn husk? Didn't we look into this and it had like all these weird other names to it? Or maybe I just did that on another uh, stream or something. But it's like there's some really weird names that they, they have for this. Like daddy's like daddy's hole or something like that. Or it was just like this weird like, oh. 
I don't care what you call it as long as the word hole is in there somewhere. <laughs> so oh, that's I a care. good picture. Sure. I care a lot. And if you're uh, throwing if you're throwing bean bags, if you're throwing sand bags, then it would be sand hole. <laughs> So you're throwing daddies, then when you sit daddy's <laughs> hole. All right, hold on. I'm Googling this. I've never heard it called that before. All right, should we go to the next picture? Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> keep, in mind, keep in mind, these are this Sherry's photos. This is as far as we're going to get tonight. So this is, a, this is a picture she took of a bug she found on the ground and she wanted my kids oh. to see. It. And, you know, I'm glad she we took saw this that picture. Later. Because we, we, we went to look for it, and I couldn't find it again. So now we have it preserved for posterity. So there's a big bug. This was the bug that uh, prepared our meals. Yeah. No, those, those yeah. things are are big. That that thing is probably an inch yeah. and a half. Um, it's good size. And, and they will, they absolutely will pinch you. You look at those pinchers and you go, "Wow, those looks like they could really hurt," and they can. Um, yep. I I was fishing around in my yard. I don't even live out in the woods. I was fishing around in my yard a few summers ago trying because i dropped i don't know keys or something and i was trying to get them and i felt this felt like i pushed my finger into a thumbtack and i went ouch and i pulled it out and one of those was hanging on the end of my finger mm -hmm. and i just left my car keys and had new ones made <laughs> <laughs> so you'll like this next picture dad this is the this is the last picture from sherry's collection she sent me some more but this is the last one i've got so what is this? Can you explain what's happening here in this yeah, picture? Yeah, I can explain exactly what it is. That is uh, our good friend, Jeff Lane, yeah. um, trudging through uh, hole number four on the disc golf course. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh -huh. what, and you might think, if you haven't played disc golf at Cedar Lake, you might think, wow, what a terrible shot to go that far into the rough. But actually, yeah. he's pretty much on the fairway. There. That's the, that is right about where he needed to be. Mm -hmm. um, the course was literally uh, an overgrown jungle. The basket was out there. Mm -hmm. um, we needed a Sherpa. We hired a Sherpa to take us through the forest to the basket because we were afraid that we didn't have enough supplies and water to keep our group alive. It was the Oregon Trail all over again. Mm. It was the Oregon Trail. Mm. Two of our disc golfers uh, died of dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not wearing my glasses today, so things are a little blurry. Uh, and from here, it looks like Ronald McDonald like <laughs> traipsing through <laughs> the woods. Jeff had a yellow. I just see yellow and red. That's yep. all I see. Yep. And I'm like, and is green. Ronald McDonald like... <laughs> Just running through the woods? What is going okay. on here? Well, so that's the, the end of the shirt. was Jeff was because I recognized the shirt. Yeah, anyway, the so yellow shirt. Was By well, the I way, we can do this at another time, but I did find a, a list of other names for cornhole. For cornhole. So I did find it. <laughs> okay. I cannot believe it exists, but okay. Yeah. I guess I can. <laughs> from uh, Direct from Slick Woody's Cornhole Company. So this is official. This is like, mm -hmm. you know, this isn't just internet mumbo jumbo. This yeah, is if, like. If Slick Woody says it, yeah. it's gospel in the anyway. cornhole okay. world. Okay. Well, we will definitely explore that. Um, can you <clears throat> can you see that one, Brian? You know who that person is? These are my photos, by the way. Yes. That is, um, that is JT. So <laughs> I took this picture of Juwan DeVivo. I get close to him. And he and I said, "All right, it's time for your close-up. You know, strike a pose that says I belong here. I'm important. People want to come and see me do things on stage. That's what he gives me, right?" And then I said to another member of our crew, "I said, hey, now it's your turn." And this is what he gave me. <laughs> if you go back to the Juwan photo for a second, yeah, I will. Okay. He's uh he's also in the competition for the whitest and widest leg competition. <laughs> In uh, in the Midwest, so. uh, the yep. whitest white legs. Yep, yeah. there were a I lot didn't... of them out this <laughs> this afternoon or this weekend. I am a pretty photogenic character. Look at that. <laughs> That's me, right? That's you. Is that Jeff Lane? Is that me? <laughs> All right, so you won't be able to see this real easily since it's, since you're having a hard time with the. Um, wow size of the photo but there's darren strebler okay. over all the way on the right and then his wife erin mm -hmm. is next to him she's her back's to us 
But they're playing um, sister. Taboo, I think. Sherry. Yep. They are playing... Uh, yeah, Taboo. Yeah, looks like Taboo. And then on the far left, you can't really see them very well either. They kind of got cut off. But that's Dodie and Daniel. And they've mm-hmm. been at both vacays. Here's another game night shot. There we have Juwan again on the left, kind of cut off. Back of Dad's head there at the bottom. JT's yep. directly in front of us. And David Pendleton. And then who's that off on the right corner? That's Bob Smiley. That's Guy point. Smiley. So, Look how angry he looks. He, lo- he looks like, and the reason he looks like that is because he wanted to play, but we said no, Bob. Because, <laughs> didn't let him. because he kept putting the pieces in his mouth. In Either that or the or M&M's or is that M and M's bag that is now empty. Is that maybe yep, that's the that's real it. reason? So that's totally what resolved. that is. Because you can't yeah. play games without a whole bunch of junk food, and we had junk food galore too. And there so was a lot of junk food. Look this at all is the, the last there. one. Uh, this is the last picture in my collection next to. These are some people at vacay with me. That's your and there's family. Amy and Marcy and Cammie and Luke and Silas and Simon. So mm-hmm. that's them back at the sound booth. Um, and then finally, I have Mama Minions photos. This, these are not Ellie's photos. These are oh. Ellie's mama's photos. Mama <laughs> Minions the photos. They have some really, really nice shots that are coming to me, and I haven't even looked at the ones that Ellie tried to send me yet. Well, that's because they're um, professional photo takers, aren't they? Like, ah. they had equipment. They had equipment and everything. And when they were going to take right. a picture, they, like, posed people. And Right. Yeah, so, so we're going to get camera. some good ones. Do not judge. This. Her name is Kim. Do not judge Kim's photos from, like, her photo taking ability from these photos because these are cell phone photos but the the really nice ones are coming so this is um another angle of that question answer panel i don't know Mm -hmm. if you can see that um this is going to be really hard to see that's juan and jt at the showcase and as dad mentioned there's going to be something coming from that showcase to skews that we're going to share with you those of you who were at vacay already know what we're talking about so. We've had nothing but rave reviews about the showcase. <clears throat> I was laughing really. pretty hard myself. <laughs> at wow, this. now that's saying something. I know. Yeah. I know. It was, it was more really of a like funny. head shake and laughing despite myself situation. But, you know, that's as she far hated as I'll it. go. She hates to admit it, <laughs> but she enjoyed herself at the showcase. Uh, there's <laughs> Kristen and the Isaac ladies. giving their workshop. Mm-hmm. So that's fun. That's and then... Great. My favorite photo so far of the whole weekend. And here's the lineup. They're kind of oh. small on your screen, but here, let me go full screen for just a second. Look at this was take this was taken just this afternoon. And so yep. I'm standing next to David Pendleton and Kristen Whitty, and I, I still smell there <laughs> like I did on the way home. And so I'm I'm thinking about that. But see how they smiled anyway? Yep. Even well, you see how Kristen's leaning her head away from I you? Do. You I see do. that? <laughs> She's like, hey, what the? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. <laughs> Take that picture. This is one gamey human being standing next to me. That was wonderful. Oh, gosh. One gamey human being. So we had uh, we had a lot of fun. And mm-hmm. I... I so appreciative of the clickers, you clickers who showed up and um, came out and laughed with us, brought your families, um, played played so many games. We had so much. Luke did it. We didn't, haven't even been able to talk about Luke's thing. That's a, right. <laughs> Luke did a uh, work. <laughs> Don't get me started. The show's <laughs> almost over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke did a workshop on auto maintenance and the title of it was um healthy horses because you've got horsepower in your car and you gotta and he likened taking care of your vehicle to taking care of your pet and if you abuse your car it's like abusing an animal or or a child and so he proceeded from there and some of some of what i appreciated about luke it was really good First of all, it was, I need to say that it was really helpful and, and informative. And I had several people come up to me and come up to Luke afterward and go, that was really interesting. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> they were like asking about 
their specific car. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. So, at, at one point he had pictures of, he talked about the importance of, of checking oh, your I'm air free, filter. I'm making frozen. Sure, making, nope, sure your air, making sure your air filter was clean. And he had slides up. And when he talked about the how important it is to keep your air filter clean, he put up a picture of his air filter that just was just absolutely covered with dirt and like leaves and rocks. And there was a dead mouse in the middle of the air <laughs> filter. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. All right, so you have another picture. All right. So I have to. Sh- well, I have to show you guys this because I didn't. I haven't seen these yet, and these are the ones that Ellie sent. So just to show you what we have to look oh, forward there's to. There's chance. I haven't seen these, so this is live reaction. There's chance <laughs> about to have his eye put out by a marshmallow stick. Look at how hard Darren's laughing. <laughs> yeah. He's got his head thrown back. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Did it switch? Yeah, Darren. Darren's a great laugher. Um, oh my gosh. His boys were, three of his boys were there. There's so much like him. It's hilarious. Hey, there's Sherry. Throwing Sherry. a bean bag. Hucking a corn bag. Oh, there's Tabs and Warren. Oh, that's a great picture. Tabs and Warren. <laughs> that's Uncle that's... David on the right. <laughs> that's and then Juwan. Like Juwan the having a snack. Yep. <laughs> He's eating yep. a couple of discs. Oh yep. my gosh, I didn't know this was in here. <laughs> Ellie! Ellie! <laughs> that's, that's one for the coffee mug. There's us talking about Luke's workshop just earlier today. Look, I'm even in the same outfit. This is the expression that's always on my face whenever somebody brings up cars around Luke. Okay. Here he goes. Here he goes. All right, that's the last of those for our sample. That's the last We've got some video, picture. too. We'll show that video in the future. Um, oh, man, I should have kept the beard. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good beard. Was Rachel good. says, uh, Luke is welcome to take my credit card and top off my gas tank anytime he wants if it's really that important to him. <laughs> it is, Rachel. Oh, it is. Gosh. I guarantee it's more important to Luke than it is to you. And yes. That makes him yay cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we did have fun. The power was not on the whole time. And sometimes my computer wasn't there. And um, <laughs> occasionally our lunch wasn't there either. Um, and there are some other things that we could complain about if we choose to focus on the negative. Um, but we will not. We will take a nap. We'll go to sleep. We'll take a shower. We'll go to sleep. <laughs> we'll get some new perspective, and then we'll we'll regroup and figure and, out what the future holds. And we'll be back to complain later. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So there's always time to complain tomorrow. There's always time to complain. It's like <laughs> Jello. There's always room for Jello. There's always time to complain. <laughs> so, um, Brian is an expert. <laughs> You can support the show by going to johnbrandon.com. And especially when you become a clicker, that really helps us out. Membership is how we can afford to promote things, help spread the word when we're doing special events, um, and really just keep the lights on at our house so we don't feel like a whole bunch of campers on a Saturday morning at a campground. Yeah, it helps us to... After a storm. You know, buy all the equipment and pay for software that... that helps my face disappear when there's a green effect on the screen. Uh, you can look at, oh, I'm going to, I'm almost taking your job. Go ahead. Yeah. Castingcrowns.com <laughs> to find out where they're going to be. I believe talk. they're where over you. they're I'm in Missouri talk today, talk I think. Here. But anyway, finishing up the announcements and then and, um, youtube.com you slash comedy Brian to support Brian April. He was holding down the fort while we were gone. We're gonna you're so obnoxious. I really can tune you out and just keep talking, but it's annoying everyone else, I'm sure. So just be quiet for a second. And how are we going to read the credits today? Well, if you'd have been paying attention, I just said that we'd figure it out. Oh, and, I need uh, to do a quote of the day, too. Here. A quote um, of the day. Yeah, because normally I like do Juwan DeVivo quotes, but today it's going to be... Uh, go ahead. April quote? I think we should do the credits as uh, Jackie Mason. <laughs> I think we may have done them before, but I don't care because I love talking like Jackie Mason. 
You know, it, and we might just do the credits from now on as Jackie Mason. That's what <laughs> I love doing. Somebody's going to have to remind me who was it who said we shocked the carp out of that lake. <laughs> that was Roger. It was Roger. Okay, well, uh, yeah. we will edit this in. We shocked the carp out of that lake. <laughs> Roger. How do we spell his last name? I can't get to that tab. R-E-D-F-O-R-D. Like, okay, I wasn't sure if like there was... Robert. Robert Redford. Okay. Yeah, Roger chance Redford. to say a big thank you to Amanda for putting it together. Oh. That, that is true. That was yeah. true. It was Mandy that did all the I'm putting details. this back up. Well, we shocked the car park. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Read the credits however you want. Okay, we're going to read the credits like Jackie Mason. Like Jackie Mason oh, like, on like, vacation. Hey, we might read them twice. I love to do Mackie Mason so much. We're going to read them twice. The comedy clip. Jeez. All kinds of important people, including Ray Bates and Jacqueline Greet and Steve. And as you can, why is there no? Why is there no electricity? I come over here. I pay for electricity. There's no electricity. We're shocking the car. <laughs> Kathy Jones, she's a great girl. John Thomas Oaks and Nicholas Olson, we love them both. And Babby Tram and Andrew. Why Spike is Jamon DeVivo always eating? Why is this happening? And the thing about John Unger is he's always. He's always doing things for other people. He's got a good heart. <laughs> Remember, there's no effort party tonight.